Yeah. What's going on? Today, I'm gonna show you how to make one dough that's gonna answer all of your bread making dreams. Let's go. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for joining. Grab a drink, sit back, grab something to snack on while you help me help you sprinkle a little, uh, let's say minimalism into your life. We're gonna be making a dough that literally makes everything, like everything you could think of. Let me go over some key reasons you want this dough in your life. First of all, it's easy, simple, not hard at all. Second, literally only five ingredients. Third, third, it is no need, like not even a little bit. Don't, don't need it, don't touch it. Just stir it together and say, yeah, that's it, you're good. Fourth, no machine, no machine whatsoever. You don't need a stand mixer, you don't need a hand mixer, none of that. You don't need no machine to put this together. Honestly, you could do this in the complete dark and put it together. Like, say if it was a blackout, you still good. You could literally still put this thing together. Probably be a little hard to see, but you can make it work. And fifth, you can do everything with this dough. Everything. Say you want a loaf of bread, this dough can do that. You want pretzels, this dough can do that. I don't know, maybe um, cinnamon rolls. This dough can do that. How about a pizza? This dough can do that. I was thinking biscuits. This dough can do that. This recipe is literally, no joke, five ingredients. I mean, you could have this done within like zero time frame. I like to get everything on the table and then you're gonna need a big bowl. And um, uh, let's see, you, you wanna, uh, hold on just a sec here. I can, uh, maybe right around, all right, so you, you definitely wanna make sure you have a big bowl and right about here looks good. Okay, first we're going to start out with our largest dry ingredient. You can use all purpose flour, bread flour, wheat flour, all these work to make this dough. You're going to start out using about two thirds to three quarters of the flour. Later, you'll add in the rest, bringing it all together. <laughs> Try dropping it in your bowl just a bit more gently. Next, toss in your yeast. Make sure it's the fast acting or instant kind if you're planning to use the dough within a few hours. Also, no need to proof your yeast. That is a good practice if you're uncertain your yeast is active. After adding all your dry ingredients, quickly whisk it together just to get everything combined. Keep in mind, you can switch out ingredients such as the maple syrup. You can use cane sugar, and in that case, I would add that before whisking everything together. Last thing is going to be your milk. You can use any dairy-free milk variation or even water. I choose what sugar and milk I'm putting in based on my end goal. This is it, mix it together, add in your flour, and keep mixing until the dough is sticky but doesn't come off on your fingers or spatula. Cover the dough and store it in the refrigerator for about two to three days or allow it to rise about 60 to 90 minutes before using it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this dough makes your life easier. Stay tuned on the blog as we update more recipes using this masterpiece. I'll see you next time.